Okay, so now I'm going to show a quick demo, uh, real simple demo. So on my local machine here, I'm moving it around, I have a, um, this is going to represent the field device or the PLC and an edge gateway that's doing the polling with the PLC and then when there's a value change it will push it up to the MQT server and then that will be, be read over on ignition here where MQT engine's running and then we have it into our OEE module. So um, the best way to show this, I think, is, um, and you can see this, the IP address. This, is, this uh, one over here is actually up in the Amazon cloud. So we're running the OE in the Amazon cloud. And then this one's just on my local, on the left side is on my local system. So the best way to show this, I think, is just showing a, a timing chart. We'll show downtime events and a downtime table. So we're starting up here, and I'll put in a downtime reason, code 100. Um, I think that's like an NT jam or something like that. So we see that show up in our uh, downtime table here, and it shows up into our uh, timing chart. So we see code 100 there in feed one jam. And I'll reset that. Okay, so that's all fine and good. But now I want to simulate an outage. And I can't unplug my network cable because you won't see my screen anymore. So instead, um, what I'm going to do is turn off the MQTT um, server in the Amazon cloud here. So it's not going to accept any more values. So this field device and this edge gateway, when it value changes, it's going to want a response from that server. Well, I shut it down so it's not going to get the response and it's going to store it. So we can immediately see that we're offline. So even though, even though it's report by exception, it, we know it's offline right away. Now I'm going to put a different code in there. A couple different codes here. And we can see it's not updating now because we're offline. So normally, this would be a gap in our data. A couple there. You can see that that chart even update, updated. And the last data it had was it was running. So that's what it shows. Now I'm going to re-enable it, the server. Go back here. I went back online. And then we'll give it a minute. And there's our data. The two different codes, the 120 I typed in and the 130, it shows up in our downtime table. So that's a real simplified uh, example, and we're just doing machine state and some counts here. But you really can have, you know, what product code you're running, uh, am I in production, complete control down here in the, up in the Amazon cloud or the, wherever your central server is can just be passive and collecting that data and being able to show it with zero gaps and getting accurate data.